Right there. Oh my god, it's like a Christmas miracle. It is. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. I got Santa, Mike. Look at that, man. I'm Bob, and you're watching Eerie Extreme. Just so you understand, five hours, right? Right. It doesn't start till we make the first cast. Okay, so we just got our challenge for tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one. We're not gonna let no record million year snowstorm record stop. Okay, so we just got our challenge from Nate at We Create. It's go time. This might be a bust. That's what's coming up on Eerie Extreme. Uh. I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living, and nothing else compares to the spot where I was blessed to be born and raised. So I've gathered up a few old friends. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds. Doing things we've never done before. Going places we've never gone before. Oh yeah. What is that? Basically, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. Oh, this is oh, Eerie. Oh, Eerie Extreme. Oh my God. Hey Dave. Hey Nate. Hey. Hey Nate. This challenge comes to you from Buffalo, New York. Reed challenges you to catch five steelheads. What's the catch, you ask? Well, you need to catch each one from a different location, and you need to do it within a five-hour time limit. What? Have you looked outside today? <laughs> Good luck. I think you'll need it should you choose to accept this challenge. <laughs> Glad I'm not going. So after we got the call last night, we made the map and figured out where we're going to go. Came to East End Angler this morning and we changed everything. We've got a new set plan now because the roads are so bad. We can't travel very far. We can't go clear to the west side and back to the east side. So see what happens. Sure is nasty. If we can be at a place where we can catch one right away, then right. it's four fish in five hours. Right. So this is a real cool challenge, but first, how about a real quick armed robbery? So the whole crew is finally here and we've decided on our five locations for the day. Today we're working from east to west. Our first stop, 16 Mile Creek. Kirk thinks we can score quick and since the clock starts on our first cast, catching one right away is very important. Spot number two is a place that Kirk knows about. He's got permission to fish there. We shall refer to it as the secret spot. Next is the Lawrence Park Fish Club on Four Mile Creek. Just to throw a little diversity into the day, we've decided on Lampy Marina for spot number four. And in a perfect world, we'll then drive all the way out to Albion, spot number five, and in dramatic fashion, catch our fifth steelhead in under five hours. Simple. We're not good this way, but we're good that way. Yeah. Is that a plow coming? Yeah. Can you pull up like a couple inches? I got one more car coming. Well, I mean from the plow. Oh, really? Yeah, please. We are going to 16 Mile Creek, Freeport. That's a long way, isn't it? Yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah, we got to use our run time. That makes sense, right? So I put it in four wheel drive. Our first stop is the most important. We need so to be here, catching here. a fish on the first here, cast. Technically though, we can go to the first spot, not cast anything, and look first. And if you think it's a bust, we can go to the next spot. As long as you don't throw a line in the water, the clock doesn't start. Is this first oh, spot a guarantee? 16 mile, he thinks, is a guarantee. Well, it's going to be up here. Huh? Yeah, right here. Right here, oh, right yeah, there's there. cars. There's okay. people here. That's usually a, I don't know if it's a good sign or not. Now, what do we need? This one, we're acting real slow. We should be practicing and moving fast. Yeah. But remember, we're not, we're not in this lackadaisical mood the rest of the day. What a nasty day. I actually like fishing on days like this, though. You using minnows? No. You got the minnows? You're the minnow man, oh, though. Where are they? They're back oh, here in the bucket. <laughs> you need maggots, or are you good? I'm good. You don't have maggots? Bear back in it. Dude, this is important. Here. Is bear backing a fishing term? <laughs> no. I can't. Here, all the maggots. All the maggots. This way? Okay. Dude, I'm excited right now. Are you really? Yeah. That's right. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are we going? Well, the creek's over there. He, are you sure? Okay. He said under the bridge. Specifically said. They, said they, those guys just said they walked a half a mile upstream and didn't see anything. Where'd they see them all at? Okay, okay. He said he caught 15 under the bridge in an hour. You don't want to try that? We should have stood on the bridge and looked that way and seen if we could see them. Why does this always turn into a hiking expedition on our show? We can't fish right by the road. Remember when I said, is it real close to the road? And you said, yeah. You remember that? This isn't right. We should be closer to the road. 
You positive about this? I'm worried now. Okay. A lot of pressure you're putting on yourself. No. Wow, look at this. We don't have the net. Oh boy. We forgot the net. You bring the net? No. You don't even bring it. It's not even in the truck. No. And we don't have waterproof boots. We didn't know we would need them. How dumb is that? And we forgot the net. How is that even possible? We want to cast at the same time. Yeah. So we're going to wait for Danny to get set up. I'm going to fish like right here. And the clock starts when we, hey, we need a time check. Dan, hold on a second. It's 1.57. Should we start or wait till 2 o'clock? We're going to go by Terry's watch. Tell us when it hits 2 o'clock. OK, go. 2 o'clock, right on the button. I think we need to find somewhere we can see them. No kidding, by the bridge. First cast had to be our best cast of the entire day. And we are definitely wasting time. The only good thing about that is we can go get the net. You see any? I think I did. Should we leave or not? We don't have huh? time. Should we go? This is where somebody caught one. There's blood all over. OK. And the snow is coming down now. Let's go. We're going to boogie. That didn't work out like we thought it was going to. Not good. We're going to hike back to the bridge. Big waste of time. It's pretty back here. Our very first spot could cost us the entire five fish challenge. You know, we went pretty far east of our boundary. Like we're almost to the New York line. So we got a long drive to our next spot. And if we leave here fishless, it's really, really bad. It's going to be a bust, I think, Dan. Because there's none. There's little fish down there, but, but no steelheads. How could we screw this up so bad? We got to vacate. We can't be thinking about it. I'm irritated right now. Just try it here, I guess. Oh, no. Whatever those little fish are, I've had two of them come up and hit, hit my bobber. I did too. Are they little tiny rainbows? Where's Kirk at? We gotta rally the troops. We're out of here. Strike one. Throw it in there. Let's boogie. 224, 225. We lost 25 minutes, which would be awesome if we had one fish, but since we have zero, talk Dan. What do you want me to say? I don't know what I'm doing. I have no confidence catching steelhead because I've never done it. Please support our season three partners. Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, Fishing Online, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. What's your favorite reindeer? Uh, I don't want to get them all jealous, but I'm kind of partial to Rudolph. Are you? He's, you know, That's he, he only works once in a blue moon. But... He's getting old? Yeah, we're all getting old, you know. All right, so we're going to 12 Mile, not even on our radar, not even on our plan B list. Remember, 7 Mile is not on our list either. Is that better than 12? Okay, we're just gonna go look real quick if we don't see one. Here. You see a fish? No. I can't see very good enough over there though. Should we try it or move on? Try the other side? We forgot the net again. Really? Come on, Dan. All we gotta do is catch one real quick and then we'll get back on track, you know? Do you see any? No. Come on, fish. I don't know how we're ever gonna grab one if we hook it right here. The net's in the truck. Again. <laughs> Can you see my bobber? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got one! Okay, now we gotta figure out how to get this. We don't have a net. Come on, Dan. You gotta grab them without falling in. That's a giant. It's a big one. Not that it matters. How am I gonna get them, dude? Can you, you can't even stand in that little bit of water, right? Not really. Just do your best, you know? It is what it is. We got him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, it's a trout guitar. <laughs> OK, hold on. That counts. So Kurt, get ready. We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> That's a nice one. Sam? Hey, do you want a picture on my phone real fast? Yeah. 
Dude, I can't even believe that. I deepened my bobber and that was the first cast I made like that. Unbelievable. Hey, that gets us back on track. I kind of feel better now. We finally got a steelhead, but what should have taken two minutes took an entire hour. Not perfect, but at least we're on the board. I'm getting too old for this. Did you expect to catch one right there? No. Did I look like a steelhead pro? You look like a pro. That felt good. I almost fell in the water. <laughs> How hard was it to get that fish without a net? He grabbed, he grabbed it like a football. I squeezed it hard. Where are we going? You guys are as slow as molasses. Did you, do you know, hey, you wanna hold that for a second? You know, I set my bobber deeper on that, right before that cast. It's on the left-hand side. <laughs> How stupid are we? Don't answer that. Kirk's going back to grab it. What do we do? We need, Kirk, you comfortable standing on that? Can we get down there somehow? We can't even get down there. Dude, I don't know about this. I'm freaked out already. How do we do this, Kirk? We gotta, we gotta, we're on a time limit. Got one. Oh my gosh, there's a million steelhead in there. Should I just pull him up? He got off. Bummer. But look what happens on the next cast. Got one. Kirk. Kirk, net. Kirk. Come on, Kirk. Come on, Kirk, get him. Hurry, we're out of here. Yeah. Okay. We're gone, let's go. As bad as I want to stay here. Dang it, doesn't that suck? We could tear their butts off right here. Yeah, buddy. Come on, Dan. That was awesome, that happened quick. Boy, did we need that. So that puts us at two fish, and just like that, we're back on track. I made two casts and had two fish on. Feeling a lot better now. Okay, now we still don't have time to breathe yet until our next drive. This one's only gonna be a couple minutes, right, in the car? A couple I need a lasagna sandwich. Now we're off to Four Mile Creek. Well, stand, don't move. I'm not moving, it's your okay. brain moving. Go ahead. What are we doing fishing Lake Erie? Going straight. Wow, look, look at the at ice that. breaker. That's that ship that just left, isn't it? Okay, where are we parking? Uh, where it says no parking. <laughs> oh man, are we allowed to do this on TV? You're with the club member. Okay. What's he doing? He can't get the lock off. We all right? Can't get in. Perfect. Oh, man. There's a lock on the gate, and it won't open. So Kirk's on the phone. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. What'd you say? They changed it. So did you get... I got it. <laughs> that was scary. Well, I'm still, it's still not open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go. Okay. Follow the path to the metal steps. Go down the metal steps and as far to the right that you can get. So, we're at our fourth location and for the fourth consecutive time, boy, we're good. Guess what we forgot again? Maybe we should assign jobs for everybody to do. Oh, we don't want to get too close to this. I want you to catch them though, so go first. Giddy up. No, just keep walking until you see the metal steps. Ooh, this could, this could be bad, man. All the fish are under the ice, so we gotta figure this out. You're gonna have to cast into the hole. My line is so frozen. Can we cross? So the only real chance we have here, I don't think we can fish here, is to cross the creek and get closer to the main lake. Okay, we're in. This could be a waste of time though. This area to me doesn't look all that good. Um, it's really shallow, but at least it's open water. Got one. Oh yeah. Come on, fish. Are you kidding me? Boom, on the second cast. It's a big one. Now all we have to do is land it. No net again? I could pull him up on the bank mostly. There, that counts. Wow. That was cool. And just like that, we got number three. Ooh, that's cold. We were getting it. Get two more. Unreal. We got them. Number three. We got to do a time check. That took a little longer than the other ones, but we still should be in really good shape. Now we're going ice fishing. Well, if we don't fall down and die. It's 3.49, Dan. We got, what's that mean? Two hours? No, three. We're way ahead, aren't we? We got till seven. It's your turn to catch one. I don't care who catches them as long as we accomplish the challenge. I'd kind of like to see you catch one. How'd that work out, buddy? 
Worked out. That was that was a bonus. We got lucky because of that ice, don't you think? Okay, yeah. let's hustle. In my opinion, we should have one right now. Those two of those are total luck. We got three fish. It's 351. We're in very, very good shape. The weather is kind of rough. But other than that, fish are part. biting. Yeah. Where are we going? Lampy? Yeah. We're going to Lampy, yeah. So I mean everything's right according to plan, right? Yeah. We got some we time. We could have jacked one out 16 mile, you know? Yeah, but we didn't. I'll tell you what, we got some serious thinking to do now. This is our longest drive of the day right here. What if we catch one real quick at Lampy? Should we just go to head to Albion? Or what about East Avenue? We can knock it out right here instead of running the Albion. East Avenue? Yeah. What do you mean East Avenue? To catch a trout. Yeah. We can catch a trout at East Avenue? Yeah. Sure. How? Gosh dang, well, let's catch one here first. What are you talking about? How are we going to catch one East, of East Avenue? Avenue? Everybody catches them there. That warm Through water discharge. So you want to change the plan? Well, I'm just saying. We have two saying. days to talk about this, and now everybody wants to I mentioned East there. Avenue to you yesterday. So we got to be super quiet, right? Kirk? I don't got a good feeling about this at all. Not anymore. I did, but I don't now. OK, we got the gaff. You know what the worst thing about this is, right? Getting a bite. <laughs> we're gonna scare the crap out of them drilling these holes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're not walking on that. <laughs> Even though we're both wearing striker float suits, I really don't want to go swimming today. We're fishing. We need to do a time check. 425. 425. I can't be. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Dang, we, we we wasted quite a bit of time on that last move. We gotta catch one quick. We can't be. It is. It is? You don't think this is going to happen, Kirk? Dude, we can go to another creek. I mean, we just can't sit here and talk about it. We got to do it. Give it five or 10 minutes and then we'll go. Come on, we need one here. You know, we're really starting to feel the pressure. Uh, we're spreading out, drilling holes all over the place. It's definitely crunch time. We're pretty confident there's fish in here. Danny's fishing one dock. Kirk's kind of fishing another dock, but all we're catching is tiny little perch. We are wasting time, <laughs> and the clock is ticking. We gotta move. This was a strike. We're going to a, another place that's about five minutes from here. We didn't even discuss this. That was a big waste of time, huh? So now we're ad-libbing, fishing places that weren't even on the list. I think the weatherman was a little bit behind us. Here comes the 23 mile an hour winds. Gus, the 40. I got a bad feeling about this. Where's the best spot? I don't like this. Do you, Dan? I don't know. Too big of an area, isn't it? I got zero confidence, Kirk. Oh, gosh. I'd rather hit another mile creek. What haven't we fished yet? Seven miles too far of a walk? OK, we're out of here, Dan. Too, too much area, you know? I don't know where to cast. Where are we, gonna, where are we going? So much for marking the map. We just we're just stopping anywhere we're thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're in panic mode now. Yeah. So we've caught fish at three places and not caught fish at three places, right? Right. Fifty percentage. Aren't we going to Albion? No, we gotta. We can't go there till we have four. Oh. We either gotta catch this one quick and get out of here to have time to go to Albion, or we need a plan B. If we don't catch one quick and it's taking too long. Where are we going to go next? Because we're out of creeks. No, there's one more creek out here. That we we're going to seven right now. Where else is there? 20. Oh, this looks good. And this is one of those ice dunes, man. These are like hollow underneath. You're not supposed to walk on these. We need one here. This is a big deal here, Kirk. You think we're going to do it? You do? Kirk thinks we're gonna do it. So we walk to the next hole, and all I can say, if we don't catch one here, we stink. Like, stink, stink. Time to let Danny P. Jones dance. Hit it. Track number four, we gotta go. We gotta hurry, dudes. 
in the middle of a challenge. We're stopping to get batteries because we forgot the batteries. Terry's truck is at East End Angler. We're gonna drive by there real quick, drop him off. He's gonna follow us to Albion. Kirk, Sayonara. Sayonara. His leg hurts. I wonder why. Maybe it's from walking so much. The arrival time says 45 minutes. Is this stupid? Go to the Albion exit and look south. Okay, we're gonna have about four minutes max to catch one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. Dude. Go. So we finally made it to Albion. 657 right now. Barely. I dropped Danny off and I'm just hoping to get one cast in quick. Okay, I see one. I do see one. We need a miracle. Yep, we lost. We probably shouldn't have tried to drive 100 miles in a blizzard. Even though we failed, it was still a great day. Man, I'd really like a root notch on that one, wouldn't you? We're done. We got here with three minutes left. Made a bad call, probably. Losers again. So, we lost. Why? Because, one, fire truck hoses. Two, the weather. Three, the water was too clear. Four, the water was too low. Five, Terry forgot the batteries. Six, we started in the wrong place. Seven, school bus. You ever watch a show? Yeah. Santa Claus watches Erie Extreme. That's correct. Santa Claus watches Erie Extreme every Saturday. That is unbelievable.